Good morning, YouTube. Last night we camped here. Literally, the trail's right there. But uh, you can fit about three tents right here. It is 0.7 miles from the Kennebec River. We have a ferry ride scheduled for 7 a.m. Sorry. And uh, right next is beautiful little river. It's not little, it's kind of big. Yeah, we're about to get back on the road, get to the river. Cheryl is taking us across. So the ferry runs from till like the 30th of September or the 9th. I don't know when it runs, but it's basically it's closed. Normally in season, it's free for through hikers. But because we're late, we're slow though. We're slow you have to schedule a ride with either the ATC people or Cheryl, who lives across the river. And basically, can find her number from you know the locals and or you could just go and yell Cheryl across the river and she can hear you and she'll come over with the canoe and it's 40 bucks to get across and yeah so we're gonna try possibly to run to the general store in Caratunk we have 32 miles to Monson that we have to get done between today and tomorrow so easy peasy we're gonna try to knock out maybe like another 20 mile day today and then do like a Nero into Shaw's so looks like it's gonna be another pretty day let's get started all right I just found the coolest spot of all time there's this beautiful waterfall and then an entire swimming pool right there like the coolest swimming hole ever and then down there a rope so you can use the rope to get down and go swimming. Oh, that's cool. I'm coming back when it gets warm. There she is. Oh, it's so pretty this morning. There she is. <laughs> We're gonna take your canoe without you. <laughs> okay. Yay. You gotta aim between those two piles of rocks there. Cool. And on your right, you'll see one. It's under the water, but it's really close to the surface, so just take care of that. It does look fairly uh, low right now. How much higher does it get when the when they release the dam? Oh, all that is covered. That's what I said all this that's morning. All that's underwater. Dang. It goes up the bank and probably about two or three feet. But it'll cover any of the rock that's showing. That's pretty crazy. It's kind of spooky looking in the mornings with the fog like that. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, in the morning we saw a moose go across. The no ocean. way. Yep. <gasps> that's yeah. awesome. Up a boat in one one of the kids goes, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's the coolest thing ever. Really? Swam right across. Oh. Wow, it is pretty kind of deep. <laughs> yeah, I would not want to walk across it. No. No way. You guys got to be happy you're getting to the end of all right, y'all, we crossed the river. This is the other side. And we're walking up to the road and Cheryl's gonna drive us in 
to town so we can do a quick little resupply at the gas station because I my headlamp is all but dead and uh, we need a few few other things that that we like need immediately so um, yeah oh, wait, my handed it to you ah. oh. We lucked out. Uh, we got to the road and we met up with Pickles Freight Train, Sweet Tart, and U-Haul. Pickles' is twin sister is here, April. Shout out, April. What's up? And she's just out here supporting them. And so she is drove us to Sterling Inn. We're going to check this place out, see if they have what we need. And if not, we'll go a couple more miles north into town. But yay, it always works out. <laughs> All right, April. If you're watching this thank you again that was awesome we knew we wanted to do this today we just didn't know how it was gonna happen but alas the trail provides and we got everything we needed and we were we, we showed up at the, like exactly the right time they were our friends were just getting out of our car she was about to leave and they're like hey it's like oh my gosh okay but now we're back on trail today is gonna be easy not as easy as yesterday but still easy compared to what we've done amazing. Weather. yeah weather's gonna be a plus again Another a plus day. yep and we don't really have a plan again as far as mileage we're just gonna try to go as far as we can I'm not doing 32 miles today. No. <laughs> okay. But it, and we're good on time too. It's only like 9.30, so. We're still starting really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. We've already done a mile today too. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Woo. So green, pretty. Is that another road? Yeah. Just I didn't either. It sounds like straight pine. Wow. Just uh, another random dirt road in Maine. It'd be so fun to drive this. Yeah, it looks like it's moving. How far out is it? Yeah. Back into the woods. We're walking like. Oh, we're half a mile. Yeah, I was just about to say it's like 0.5 to a shelter, eat some lunch, and then we got a couple, like a mountain to climb. We have a couple mountains to climb today, actually. Nothing compared to what we've been climbing. One of them's Moxie Pond, bald. That one, I think you get a good view of Katahdin. So we have another beautifully clear day. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know how many miles we've gone so far today, but I packed out a turkey sandwich from the general store 
So I'm excited to eat that with some chips. Hashtag deli blazing in Maine again. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to keep it steady. Oh, shaky camera. No, the GoPro will make it better. Am I even in that shot? Yeah. Okay. You're right in the middle. This is. What, what is this? How, how is this a trail? It's a winter we, wonderland. We teleported back to the Sendoas. Look how flat it is. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> this is great. Funny how like, seeing everybody on the trail, like talking to everybody compared to a week ago, everybody's spirits are like, so much happier. Yeah, I know. There's <laughs> that dude yesterday. We were like, we're no bone. Most people were like, they're like wince and they're like, Ooh, like hurry up. And yeah. that dude was just like, perfect. Yeah, y'all yeah, got it. We're like, yeah. literally a week ago, we were like getting shamed for being where we were. <laughs> y'all better like, hurry up. Yeah. Oh, beware of the main winter! The, and then you the, see this. The, the, uh, what am I trying to say? Microbrain. The... Trail. No. It's Hiking. Gone. Gone. Cut the tape. Okay, we just walked down to the Pleasant Pond lean-to, and it is a fall dream here. Also would like to say, um, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt in Maine in October and sweating. It is the definition of perfect weather here. It is awesome. Um, but this is a really, really nice place to camp. Wow, and the pond, you can kind of see it through. That clearing is down there. We'll go check that out, but I'm probably gonna sit here and eat my lunch and Toasty's gonna use the privy. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Let's go get water. Wow, there's some pretty tent sites up there. Here's the water. There's a slow, slow little trickle. Do you need someone meant to leave this? Got this delicious turkey sandwich for lunch. It really is delicious. And some Doritos. It's got mustard and mayonnaise on it. Yeah, it's so good. Bag it. Another mountain climbed. My grandpa would have loved to see this. I bet he would have painted a picture of this. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh, you got in the way. Oh, hush.
Oh, this is a video. Hey, everybody! Oh, oh, oh. It's pretty. We just took a snack break. Had a Snickers, some cheese, some pepperonis, some Skittles. I am on a 100% through hiker diet, and I cannot wait to eat fresh food when I get home. But anyway, vegetables. This is so pretty. It is like 4:30. We are 14 miles into the day. We're gonna try to go seven more to a shelter up and over Moxie Bald, which we'll likely be climbing and descending in the dark. But we've just been taking our time today because it's been so pretty. So anyway, let's update. And we're gonna go knock it out. Oh, are you sure you don't want to find a stealth spot around here to camp? This is incredible. Oh Look at this road. It, oh, this is awesome. This is a trail. It's a nice, do a nice little flat road walk. I love today. That is beautiful. All right. We gotta cross this river. Show us the way, Bilbo. This way? Yeah, I don't know. Warm out. My feet are dry. It's so nice having dry feet. You take dry feet for granted when you live with dry feet for felt like two weeks. Ah, that rock's scary. Oh, look how pretty this is. Yeah, this is really cool. So the trail comes there, and then it's like this awesome cave thing. <laughs> you just like walk, just like stuff in there, and goes. Right on through right, it. Going. We got like point one to the view where we might get a little bit of a sunset. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. Get Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> wow. <sighs> that is 
incredible. So for dinner, uh, Toasty's kitchen. <laughs> we have this Trilltopia garden vegetable pasta. I bought this actually in Damascus at the Green Collective, but then I sent my stove home, and it ended up in Maine with me. But let's see. This is the garden vegetable pasta. Oh boy, that looks oh so gosh. good! Holy crap! It mm. smells so good. 